Hello YouTube! Welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. Um, today we're going to be having a teaching video, but it's kind of the reason behind why I teach or why I chose teaching. These are kind of different reasons than other reasons I've heard why people chose teaching. So stay tuned. See if there's something that you might be something different than why you teach or might inspire you to become a teacher one day. The first reason I chose teaching for my career was it just felt right to me and it wasn't something I had always thought of I would do or thought that I would be a teacher my whole life. It wasn't that way for me. I actually didn't go into college thinking I wanted to study education. I actually went in to either do nursing or social work. Uh, I knew I wanted to help people. I knew I wanted to give back in some way. I knew I, I had that in my soul. So I actually went my first semester going for nursing and I got the whole scheme of what the science and all the coursework I would need it and decided that that really wasn't the right path for me. All that blood and surgery, I wasn't going to be really good with that. I could be a nurturer, but I couldn't, I couldn't handle all of that. So I decided to look into sociology and actually some of my sociology courses I did about education. And that's where I found my fit. I got into my first education course first semester of sophomore year and it just instantly clicked for me. It was the right path all along, I just didn't know it. It felt right. I had always, I guess, loved teaching. My mom said when I was little I would like set up school and we would play school and I would be the teacher. I don't really remember that. I never really held on to that. But as I grew older and in high school I started teaching dance in a camp uh, during the summer and that always felt natural. It felt right. And so for me to choose teaching as a career made a lot of sense. And when I was in the classroom and when I'm in my classroom today, it feels right, like it feels good in my skin, like this was what I was always meant to do. So that's the first reason I chose teaching as a career. Second reason I chose teaching as a career was I love children. I've always loved children. I've always babysat my neighbors and the people around me as soon as I was like in middle school, I think. And I was a mother's assistant when she had twin infants. And I actually, during college, um, babysat for one family uh, from infancy to five years old, one little boy and it was the best experience I ever had. I loved that family and that baby like he was my own and I just always had that nurturingness to me and I feel like I still bring that in the classroom but it just brings such another element when you're a teacher because you get to see such growth in such a short amount of time so it's amazing to be able to do that. third reason I chose teaching was for the aha moments in kids when that light bulb goes off when they get something new when they feel that inspiration or something new occurs to them it's just magical there's no other word for it other than magical and that's the joy in teaching that's why we teach we teach for those aha moments in every one of our students this past year one of my kiddos stands out to me because he was struggling a lot with math and he'd always come to teacher help he'd always be ready to work and then we were learning long division and it's hard. It's hard when you're just learning long division for the first time. And after three days of small group with him, he finally got it. And he was like, Miss Fisher, I get it. I know how to do long division. And he's like, first I do this, then I do this, then I do this. And I'm like, yeah, that's it. And just his face lit up. And those are the moments that I cherish forever. And who can say that you get to make someone feel empowered like that? in their work, you know, it's it's very special and I, I love those aha moments and I always hope when I'm teaching that those aha moments aren't always in curriculum but rather in their inspiration or their life goals that they would feel empowered in themselves and what they are capable of. So definitely one of the reasons I teach is for those aha moments. Fourth reason I teach is that it allows me to be creative. And that's something I never really thought of when I thought, oh, I'm going to be a teacher, I'm going to be creative. Uh, you say, you know, you teach to the standards and this is how it always looks, right? But I found that I've been more creative the more power I've had over my curriculum and my classroom and you get to create those spaces and you get to create those lessons that are meaningful and those experiences for kids and I feel like that has really given me a creative outlet in California. Now growing up I grew up in the theater and dance and singing and I was raised with a community of creative people and I thought that was the way to be creative but I found that I am creative in my teaching space and I found a lot of 
personal growth in that as well as power and what I can do for these kids. So allowing me to be creative is one of the reasons I chose teaching. Now the last reason I chose teaching is that it will continually grow uh, as a professional and the field will continually grow and change. We think back to the 1800s, the one room schoolhouse with the teacher teaching all of the kids. It's very different now what teaching has become and it will continue to grow and change. And that's exciting for me as a professional that my career will never be stagnant. It will never be the same thing every day, nine to five. Each day comes with new challenges and opportunities to grow and I just think that's fantastic and another really great benefit for me as a person of why I love teaching and why I chose teaching. The education field values is that the only way you move up is by continuing to grow in your education and your understanding of how to be the best teacher that you can be and create the best environment for your kids. I always value the continual growth process rather than the stagnant structure of work. And the last reason why I chose teaching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have another reason that you love teaching or you're thinking of being a teacher, go ahead and leave it in the comments down below. I'd love to hear what inspires your heart to be a teacher. I really did not know this was the plan for my life, but when it was what I was doing, it felt so right and it felt like the perfect fit and what I would always plan to do. So give this video a like and make sure to subscribe and I will see you in my next video.